I know that it's her because we've had issues with her before, but she's like really jealous of having like another photographer on the same floor as her. So we just come to feed the ducks. Yeah. Don't look like the ducks want to eat today. Do they? I don't think they want to eat anything today, do they? You've got snotty nose. She's giving them triangles. And we've got to be in a with us today. Oh. Say hi sis. Hi everyone. <laughs> so we just thought we'd come feed the ducks because we had some old bread left. It's a bit cold so we just thought we'd nip out and just do some work <laughs> for a little duck. bit. <clears throat> and then me and Davina are going to go to the studio hopefully get that room decorated a bit of luck yeah. Dave's actually feeding the ducks oh you like feeding the ducks don't you babe yeah got his miserable head on today oh, yeah but that's all yes it's Sunday <laughs> no he's got his Sunday head on so much bread here I know Help me. look at him over there there's yes. that much bread, they don't know where to start. No. Give her a little bit, son. Yay! Do you think they're going to be full, them ducks? Hey. Do you think they'll be full? They won't get hungry tonight, will they? So today we've just been lazing around, more or less. And then Davina came down a couple of hours ago, so we were just getting dressed and having a chat and having a brew, and <coughs> that was it, basically. We're going to make some candy floss later, because she don't believe that you just do it with sugar. Done. I didn't know. You done? I didn't think it was that simple. There's only three ducks out. Where have they all gone? They're all hibernating, I think. Yeah. And there's frost on the ground, so it must be really, really cold. But it's not even melted. Or... I'm going to do my uh, makeup later, aren't we, Mum? What are you doing? Mr. Frosty. Oh, yeah. We need to get some yoghurt for Oscar's Mr. Frosty thing. You've got to put yoghurt in the snowman and then put and then chocolate. You, and then, no, and then, then dip you it in to, chocolate. No, then you have to freeze them, the yoghurt, and then you dip it in chocolate and then just eat it. I wonder if the chocolate just... Um, no, you've got to put it back in the freezer. Have you? Mm -hmm. You would think, because it's cold, when it touches it, <coughs> it does freeze automatically, wouldn't you? Maybe it doesn't. Are we going back home now? Yeah? Let's go. Because it's freezing out here, my hands like ice already. <coughs> just arrived at the studio and we are gonna start decorating or try I even forgot the scissors again so I'm gonna have to use a Stanley blade but this was the wallpaper that we got I'm hoping that it look nice because some of the stuff that I got to hang in that room is more or less a similar colour a little bit dark in it but this is some of the stuff that I bought for this room Hold on. That there. So I've got this. And I've got 
this thing that hangs up with butterflies on. So I'm hoping it's a bit of a different colour though, innit? I think it'd still look right. I don't know whether that goes with that. That's a bit more lime green in it to that. Mm. Oh well. I think that looks a bit white to me towards that. Maybe it could go and change them if we really need it to. What do you think? Turning the lights out on us. She don't want me to talk to you. I just don't know. Oh, I just don't know now. I don't even know whether I want to put that up or change it. Because I really like that colour. I suppose I could put them out here, Connor. And then just get some other stuff to go with them. I'm saying that when it's up, it might look alright because it's kind of grey in it, like. Yeah. Towards that grey. Look, Olaf makes an appearance everywhere we go. Hold on, can't see him. You don't want to focus. Oh, there you go. Who is it? What have you got around your mouth? Candy floss. <laughs> so, what do you think, Dina? I think it'll go. <coughs> Yeah, that seems a bit darker, doesn't it? I wonder if it, I don't know. Green to me. Mm. Do you think I should change it, or do you think I should just? Do you change the wallpaper? I can keep that, or you change that, and put that somewhere else. Yeah. All the things. I can always look once it's up. It might look better mm. once it's up, might it? Yeah, it should look alright. Because it's quite weird. Maybe it could cut sections out in like frames and put it behind it. Yeah. You know, so it stands out. Oh. I knew I should have checked the colour before I bought it. That's just me all over. I go out and I think, oh, that'll match. But because they'd seen other stuff in the shop, I thought it was near enough to similar colour. But I suppose that kind of greeny colour looks a bit grey, doesn't it? So it might even not look that bad one. So maybe that one's a bit white. Oh well. We'll get the wallpaper up and then decide from there. I suppose I could always take them back and change them. Does my look. So anyway, we're going to get cracking. Otherwise it won't get done. It's funny as us wallpaper in this wallpaper because they actually got rid of my mop bucket and the mop because they needed a new one and yesterday I forgot to pick one up. So this is what we're using as our paste table. That is the best paste uh, table ever. <laughs> multitasking. <coughs> you know what, we're making use out of objects that can be quite useful. But we've got one piece up. And if you notice, I've gone over the old wallpaper. Because I'm too lazy to take the other two pieces down. And no one's gonna know once that wallpaper's up. So I'm leaving it there. So we're on a roll now. This should be done soon. Do you think it'll be done soon? Do you reckon it'll look good? You should be doing the mopping, because this floor all needs cleaning. Okay, so all the painting. Okay. Hey? No mop here. I know. We'll have to buy one. You can come and do it tomorrow. No. Yeah. And then Davina's just a paper holder. Ah. Uh, paper holder, puller. What yeah. What else can we call it? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so you're probably wondering why you only see Davina every blue moon because that's she only comes and sees me seeing every blue moon. Oh. There was a blue moon this week. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm only joking. Davina's got her own problems. It seems that everybody has Christmas and New Year problems. So anyway, we're getting back to painting. No, we're not. We're getting back to decorating. But we're getting back to pasting this wallpaper. sister's doing. She's got me talking on this camera. But look at the situation. She's in down look, there. How good does it look? Ah, she's done a good job. It looks better. Plaster all over me hands. It does look better. Look at her giving that a good rub. <laughs> I've got to try and stick it around the back. Because it's so cold. We have got, got the eater on. on. Just to warm this room up. It does look good like that now, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks well better. Good work. I should, see, I should be painting and decorating me. Not only can I do makeup and do vlogs and be a photographer and cook and clean and I'm be a mother. I am the best decorator in the UK. So we've just left the studio and as we were on the way up and down we noticed that some of my um, advertisement posters that are meant to be on the wall have actually been ripped off the wall and I know that there's another photographer just round the corner from my studio so I know that it's her because we've had issues with her before but she's like really jealous of having like another photographer on the same floor as her so she had loads of leaflets there and usually I'm not spiteful but I just moved them and I hid them because you know what two can play that game I'm just getting a bit sick and tired of that I'm wasting money and putting it on the walls just for her to come down and just rip them all off and I know it's her because there's no other photographer on well in like the studio well there is but there's the further up the floors and the other photographer that is in here I actually know him so I know for a damn fact that it won't be him so if she wants to carry on playing games then the next thing I'm going to do is report her because there's quite a few people actually in the studio that would like to see her gone actually because She's caused nothing but trouble. When we first got that studio, she actually brought a dog in and let the dog poop all over the floor. I say poop because I'm being, you know, all sensible. Um, she let the dog poop all over the floor and didn't even clean it up. It took for me to go and bang on the door and say that my child had to walk around this floor and I didn't appreciate her letting the dog do it the dirty on the floor without it being cleaned up. So I actually reported her to Matt Matt is like our landlord of the studio and he said if she did it again you know she would be kicked out now it's not the first time she's been kicked out and Matt actually gave her the opportunity to try and make it work on that floor and it seems now that she's just going back to her old ways so by the looks of it Matt will be sending her toddling off once again with a bit of luck he will because I've never known anyone just She's just so arrogant and, you know, she's not willing to help anybody. I just think there's enough people in the world for each to have a photographer, you know, so you shouldn't be jealous. She does different styles to me, I do different styles to her. So obviously the people that want her obviously like the style that she's doing 
and the people that want me obviously like mine so I don't see what her issue is but anyway rant over we're going home because Dave is cooking our tea you know uh, and we're yeah. having chicken pie wedges and sweet corn I think so and the kids are having meatballs and pasta and you're starving aren't you but that's his his own fault because we told him not to come with us and he was I want to come with you I want to come with you and we'd only been in there five minutes and he was already saying are we going yet are you done yet are you ready yet can we go how long are you gonna be so I said next time don't ask to come to the studio because when you take kids we are it feels like you've got to rush 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 just to get them back home again so <clears throat> Liam and Mason actually came to the studio and he did ask if he could go on with them but it was dark and they really didn't want him walking the streets with them too on his own so anyway I'm going I'm starving so we just got finished doing a live with everybody in the house apart from Chloe because she was still at boyfriends Chelsea because she's at dad's but before Oscar goes to bed he wants to do his Mr Frosty choc ice maker now what we've got to do with this is you've got to put yogurts into the moulds and then freeze the moulds overnight and then tomorrow he can melt the chocolate, put them back in the freezer, and then before he goes to bed he can have the choc ices. So they're all done now they're going into the freezer and he's gonna decorate it tomorrow we only had enough to do like five out of the six but some of them are big some of them are small but it'll be interesting to see how they come out because obviously yogurt freezes really well just like ice cream so you're gonna finish them off tomorrow yeah well, so that's gonna be the end of today's vlog i hope everybody's enjoyed today's vlog i hope everybody enjoyed the live that we did it went on for longer than expected as per usual just so everybody knows the kids are back in school all of them on tuesday so that's when we're officially starting our daily vlogs properly. So they'll be a lot longer, they'll be a lot more intense and obviously there'll be a lot more effort and time gone into them. I've rigged the GoPros up onto the car outside, ready for Tuesday. So it's gonna be really intense and going forward, that's exactly how we wanna keep the momentum going. Christmas has just took it out of us, as well as this cold and obviously what happened with Chloe. So we're, we're finally getting back on our feet, but I think Tuesday is our end our end game really that's where we're going to be starting properly so <clears throat> i can't wait for tuesday to get here only 24 hours to go i can't wait for all the kids to be back in school can't wait to be back into a routine vanellope's back in nursery on tuesday chloe's got an appointment at the antenatal clinic for a scan just to check everything's all right on tuesday as well so it's going to be a pretty full-on day on tuesday so i'm probably gonna have to edit through the evening which I normally edit the day after in the mornings, but I've started editing at the night time because I can get through them pretty quickly. So do not forget to smash the like button and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And welcome to all the new subscribers that we've been getting over the last couple of days. And the comments that we've been getting from you guys are amazing. Like the Rose family, they've been awesome. Catherine, loads of people that have been, if I haven't mentioned your name, I apologize. I'll mention you on the live if you pop up. But there's, there's literally, um, loads of new subscribers nathan sykes um loads of people i'm i'm just tired it's like half one in the morning i've just been playing before i go my nintendo switch i haven't had it out for months i've got so many games to get through on it as well as the ps4 but i've started on mario Odyssey. i'd started on it a while ago i actually i'm actually lying i started first with mario kart then i got Mario Odyssey. <coughs> I'm still trudging my way through Zelda as well, which is an awesome game. So, we will see you guys tomorrow. You know why? Because we do this every single day. <laughs>